So looking at colours available for the Corniche doors, stock colours are anthracite grey matte inside and out, black matte inside and out, white gloss inside and out, and also available you can have anthracite grey out, white gloss in, black out, white in, and there is a new colour available which is called a gate grey, which is a very light grey. Now, in terms of how these look, so what we've got here, just to show you, in fact, if I start here, this is an example of um, anthracite grey out, white gloss in. So the track at the bottom, as you can see, is partly coloured white and partly coloured grey. This is an example in the sample piece of the white gloss. Now, one thing to bear in mind, there are certain things on the doors that have to be black. Hinges, gaskets, a lot of the rubbers. Now, on the grey doors and the black doors, this blends. So just to give you an example while we're here, you probably struggle to notice the clash of colours between the D-handle, the hinges, the rollers, whereas on the white doors, obviously, this is slightly more visible. Now, another key part as well, depending on the configuration you're going for, um, can also give you a difference of how the doors look when opening and closing. So if we have a look at a free pane bifold, which is a very popular configuration, this is grey out uh, and grey in. Now as I open this master door, to put it back onto the magna, you'll see it's still grey on the outside and grey on the inside. However, if my doors were grey out white in, as an example, this door now would be white gloss sat on the outside of the grey mat. And as I concertine them together, I would get a bit of a zebra effect and obviously the track is two different colours. So these can be quite important things to think about when you're planning very early, what colours you're looking for and so on.